The Health and Life Permission controls the Hope Care Plan section and allows you to access the surveys in Care Plan document. To access the surveys, you can click on the View All button in the dashboard section of your Care Plan widget or use the navigation bar and click on the Hope Care Plan tab. If this is your first time accessing the surveys, you will only see the Getting Started questionnaire. You will start here, and once that is completed, the rest of the surveys will appear as you see here. Let's take a look at an example of the surveys and what they look like. There are different types of questions you'll see. For example, multiple choice, select only one answer, select multiple answers, short answer, or sliding scale type questions. If the question and answers are required, it will be marked that way with a red asterisk. You can click on the answer or type in the text, and then once all the questions have been completed on the page, you can hit the next button to advance. If you missed answering a question that was required when you hit next, you will receive a red error message alerting you and you can go back and enter in that missed information. If at any point you want to go back to the previous page, you can hit the back button. You can also click on the Save Progress button if you are in the middle of a page and you want to take a break. A green bar will appear across the top of the survey screen confirming your progress was saved. Your questions and answers will also save automatically every time you hit the Next button to advance to the next page. If you have to walk away from your computer at any time while you're answering the questions and your screen becomes idle, your answers will automatically save every minute to ensure your answers aren't lost if you get timed out of the system. The green bar will appear again across the top of the survey screen confirming your progress was saved. At the end of every survey, there will be an open-ended question where you're able to type in any additional details that may not have been covered or that you would like to share with Hope Trust and include in the care plan for your loved one. To close out of the survey, simply hit the close survey button in the top left-hand corner of your screen. The survey questions are branched and linked based on logic. So depending on your answer, you may advance to the next question or you'll receive additional follow-up questions to answer. In this example, you can see here, if you were to click on yes, that individual has a guardian, additional fields are going to display for you to fill in that guardian's details. If you were to answer no, you would bypass this additional set of questions and you'd be able to move on to the next page. Another example you'll encounter is skipping entire surveys if they are not applicable to your loved one's situation. The user may be asked, has this client ever had cancer? If the answer is no, you completely skip the rest of the oncology survey in this section of questions. So the number of questions a user sees and answers will be based on their unique situation. If you get stuck while taking a survey or if anything changes within your situation and you wanna start over fresh, you are able to reset that individual survey to clear it out. You can do this by hovering over the top right corner of the survey and clicking the circle symbol that appears. It will prompt you to confirm the clearing of the survey as all of your original data from this specific survey will not be able to be recovered. If you do not wanna reset the survey, you can click cancel and you'll be brought back to the survey page. Or you can click the clear survey button. You will get a green success message in the top right hand corner of your screen alerting you that it's been reset. Please note that if you clear out and reset the getting started survey and have other surveys completed, they will disappear from your page. However, once you refill in the getting started survey again, all of the following surveys will display again untouched, meaning all of your data will still be there. You are also able to go back into a survey and change your answers if something has changed as well. In doing so, you may see additional questions that you were asked to complete or questions you've previously filled in may disappear depending on the situation 
and what changes, so be sure to review the entire survey. When you are in a survey completing questions, you will see a progress bar along the bottom, showing you how much you have completed so far and giving you an idea of how much you have left to answer within that specific survey. As you answer questions, due to the logic and question branching, the percentage will change. Each survey will display with its current status as well. If you have not filled in or answered any questions within the survey, the status will read as not started. If you answered a question but haven't completed all of the required questions in that survey, so for example, if you have started a survey and then clicked the save button and closed out, your status will update to in progress. Once you have completed all the questions in a particular survey, you will see the thank you for completing slide at the very end and your status will update to complete as you see here. Another important piece to note about the HOPE Care Plan section is that if you are on a free tier, you will not see or get access to all of the surveys. The free plan is limited to only the getting started and background information surveys. You would need to upgrade your subscription in order to get access to all of these.